Congratulations, truth seekers. 14 unanswered points. Well, when, after they make the extra point, it'll be 14 unanswered points in the first game of week 14. And you know what time it is. It's 35 Thursday. Baker Mayfield in his debut with the Rams about to stay on 35 regular season losses. And Sean McVay, his coach with the Ukrainian fiance in the same colors as Ukraine, about to stay on 35 regular season losses. Big odds tonight on the big underdog Rams, six and a half point dog. And they're about to bring it home, true seeker. 14 unanswered points in week 14. And, uh, yeah, no, notice what number Mayfield wears, right? 17. Started his career out there in Ohio, the 17th state. Remember when LeBron did the 17 ritual, come to L.A., winning them their 17th NBA Finals, the Lakers, in his 17th season? Remember when uh, Odell Beckham went from Cleveland to L.A.? If you guys didn't know, the Rams are originally from Cleveland. They were the Cleveland Rams originally. Odell Beckham, born on the day, leaving 56 days left in the year, gets traded on his birthday in the year of Super Bowl 56. Woo! It's another big 35 Thursday with the big underdog Rams. National Fix League. They couldn't have scripted it any better. Shout out to the Zebras who had some crucial calls to keep the Rams alive late in the fourth quarter. Woo! Off the high rope. Coming down with the big elbow. By the way, you guys, last week, uh, Bill Belichick picked up his 149th career loss, the 35th prime, and the Bills coach, McDermott, stayed on his 35th loss. Again, you guys, I mean, just think about it. Every week, I'm telling you about 35 Thursday. Look how they line it up week after week. Woo! What a toss. And what a big W for us. I was just waiting for those 14 unanswered points. Don't forget what I tell you guys about streaks and 14. All streaks end in 14, because the word end equals 14. The Rams losing streak, it's over. The Raiders winning streak, it's over. Better sign up for the Patreon, you guys. Get me up to 6,000. I'll be down in L.A. next month. If you get it back up to 6,000 this month, 6,000 supporters, I'll be down in L.A. next month on the Kobe Bryant death anniversary to wake people up to what really happened. It's about time. It'll be the three-year anniversary. Shout out to all the people who support, and until next time.